Hello everybody and welcome out to another Dice Tower daily unboxing video. Today we're taking a look at Ares Expedition Discovery. This is yet another one of the expansions for uh, Terraforming Mars Ares Expedition. Like I said before, we unboxed a different one of these. I like the fact that it's just calling it Ares Expedition Discovery. I think that's a good renaming, rebranding uh, for the expansion so it's not a super long name. Designers Jacob Frixelius, Nick Little, and Sidney Engelstein. Ares Expedition Discovery brings brand new cards, uh, card mechanisms, into the beloved Terraforming Mars Ares Expedition. Fans of the original Terraforming Mars will love the return of the awards and the milestones with brand new twists that only enhance the replayability. Yes, that is one of the things that I said about uh, Ares Expedition that I didn't like as much. I like, I like having the milestones and the awards, so they're bringing those back. You also have some new corporations over here. You have new phase cards, so it says that some of these cards will allow you to upgrade your phase cards. Like some other games I've heard of. <laughs> um, I mean, hey, sometimes multiple people come up with a great idea at the same time. This one has a little cardboard insert in it that proves just how much space is wasted inside of this box. Oh. Well, that happened. So, um, I'm not saying this is a waste of box space. Obviously, they're making it the same size as the other ones. But the other ones came with more stuff, like physical size stuff. But I like the sound of what's coming in here. So you've got the, what is this? These are, uh, I think that these are the awards is what it's called here. This is, it looks like you can fund these. Yeah, this because this is the majority at the end of the game. Whoever has the most heat production gets five points, second place gets two points. And if it's just like the original Terraforming Mars, just because you fund that award to happen does not mean that you will get it. It's whoever has it at the end of the game. Yes, and then there's the milestones. Whoever hits these first gets those tokens and they're worth several points. Upgraded phase cards are stronger versions of just the regular cards. You'll notice that this one here says you reduce, for example, the cost if you play the number one development card. You get the benefit of it. Uh, if, you, if you're the one who plays it, you get a discount of six instead of three mega credits. Well, I'm going to have... I'm very curious. I'm going to secretly and away from the camera look at what the other upgrades are so that only I can see. Ooh! Oh, no! No, they didn't. Ooh, nice. Oh my goodness, behave yourself. I'm kidding, I haven't looked at them yet. Here we go. So phase one, like I said, bigger discount. Phase two construction, draw a card. You may play a second blue or red card this phase. Uh, oh, this is both. Instead of either draw a card or play a second. This is when you may repeat two of your action effects once. That's neat. That made the action, action very powerful. Seven extra mega credits when you play the production thing. And then research, draw an additional two cards and keep an additional two cards. Very cool. Uh, there are, but that's different from this one over here. You see, this one just gives you more, mo uh, more money discount. Reduce the cost of the first card you buy by three. You may play a second green card this phase with a printed cost of tw uh, that 12 ha that costs 12 or less. That's cool. Here's another alternative one, I hope. Play an additional red or blue card or get six bucks. You may repeat one of your action effects once. Reveal the top three cards of the deck. Place a blue or red card revealed this way into your hand and discard the rest. Gain a mega credit. Activate the bottom, uh, activate the production uh, effect of one of your green cards an additional time this phase. Draw an additional six cards and keep one additional one. Okay, so it looks like those are going to alternate. So it's two different options for the upgraded phase cards. Then we got some new cards in here. I really shouldn't have torn that box. That was a weird little, I was like, ah, it's torn anyway. And I realized, oh yeah, we're going to review this. But we're going to be, uh, this is some new cards and stuff. Upgrade your phase three card. All right, that's cool. When you reveal an upgraded phase card, gain a mega credit. Neat. Gain two mega credits. If you play an upgraded phase card, get two more mega credits. Then TR to upgrade a phase card. Oh, yes, I would definitely do that. 
yeah, I'm wasting all my victory points, but I'm gonna get money. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I want to have ways to upgrade phase cards. There's a good number of these, actually, that say, um, upgrade two phase cards. Sweet. But it has to be, like, a little bit into the game. Temperature has to be up higher. But you better believe I'm going to pair that with one of those things that's like, consider the color one more color over. It requires a milestone, flip an ocean. Interesting. <sighs> See, this is, I, these are awesome. They're going to be a little bit messy if you play, though. <sighs> I don't know if you play without this expansion, but I th I'm guessing that the cars are all marked here in the corner. That this is going to be Discovery. That's what the... Maybe that's what this U down here means. Uh, the U is for the word Discovery. No, because these ones don't have it. Oh, maybe U means Upgrade. Maybe these ones will Upgrade. Does it say... Does it say somewhere... Upgrade phase cards. Does it say? No. Hey, look, variants, drafting. <laughs> this expansion is definitely, hey, you missed these things in Terraform Mars. It's back. Two player dummy hand. It's like an even faster game. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh, little things there. You'll notice though, over here on the game design, it only says Nick Little and Sidney Engelstein. On the box cover, it says Jacob Frixelius, so that's a curiosity. Maybe Jacob was part of the Ares expedition proper, and so he has to get credited on the box. Uh, that's a funny thing to notice. Well, anyway, let's take a look at some of these green cards, and then we'll call this a wild success. Upgrade a phase card, upgrade a phase card. Yeah, so maybe that's it. If you don't play with upgrade a phase cards, you don't need the cards that have the U. There, because this one doesn't upgrade a phase card. Am I am I correct? Upgrade a phase card. There's that little U. Okay. Well, yeah, that's interesting. So some of these things have one time. Some of them are actions that you can repeat to get more uh, upgraded phase cards. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Like I like the idea of having a bunch of stronger versions of actions that you can take. I'm all for that. Hey, there's some new corpos. Let's go. Soltira. You start with 38 mega credits, upgrade a phase card. Nice. In fact, when you play a uh, energy symbol, gain two heat. Upgrade your phase two card when you play a science tag, draw a card. Upgrade phase five. Cards you discard from mega credits are worth an additional mega credit. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. Uh, upgrade your phase three. You gain a mega credit if you chose this act. Uh, if you chose the action phase this turn, gain additional mega credit. Ooh, that's just a nice little blue. Well, there you go. That's cool. I like the tokens here. More victory point tokens. These are different tags here that you can use because there's wild tag symbols, so you can put a marker on there to choose what it's going to be. Uh, oh, did we finish looking at actually what all the different milestones and awards are? So most heat. Uh, most resources on cards, most upgraded phase cards, most science tags, that's cool. And then the milestones, these are first first come, first serve. If you're the first, first person to have six red cards, ten heat production, plant production, uh, spice baron there, nine different tags in play, eight green cards, so on and so forth. Well, there you go. That's a cool-looking expansion there for uh, uh, Ares Expedition Discovery. Thanks for coming up to another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing video. Hope yourselves a great day.